my dear sisters and my dear brothers today we heard the gospel reading from the gospel of saint luke chapter 11 verses 47 onwards and these days if you are listening to the gospel readings we see that jesus is criticizing the pharisees and the scribes and the lawyers for the hypocrisy or the things that they are doing they are practicing and yesterday also we have heard the same that this is criticized in the pharisees and the lawyers today also we the same in different ways that how he is criticizing but my dear sisters and brothers every word is written by inspired by the holy spirit and it speaks to us it has some a message to every one of us every word that we read as it has got some message to every one of us as we read that second timothy chapter 3 verse 16 and 17 second timothy chapter 3 where verse 16 and 17 where we read all scripture is inspired by god and is useful for teaching for reproof for correction and for training in righteousness praise the lord all scripture every part all scripture is inspired by god and is useful for it is teaching for reproof for correction and for training in righteousness and uh, that means the passage that we heard today also gives something and gives us instruction and gives us training and gives us correction again we can read in psalms 119 chapter 119 verse 105 chapter 119 verse 105 the longest chapter in the bible where we see that your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path my dear sisters and my dear brothers the word of god every now and then instructs us and guides us and what is the message from today today's gospel we can infer and god speaks to us and we heard that how the pharisees and the scribes were killing the prophets sent by the god sent by god and how they received the punishment that means the prophets were sent by yahweh and to correct them and to instruct them to guide them but they were not ready to accept the prophets when we read the old testament we can see god is sending the prophets first and first and foremost it is to convey the message of god they are conveying the message of god and we can see they are correcting them they are restoring them they are rebuilding them and they are guiding them and they reveal god's truth but we see what happens in the history of israel though god sent the prophets to correct them though god sent the people the prophets to guide them but they were not ready to accept the corrections from the lord they were not ready to accept their guidance they killed them and my dear sisters and my dear brothers this pa- passage speaks to us the question before you are you ready to accept the corrections from the lord when god corrects you through different ways when god corrects you through the word of god when god corrects you, corrects you through the preachings through the priest maybe your family members maybe the elders maybe your friends maybe your husband or your wife or your children or your parents the question before you are you ready to accept the corrections that god is giving you through them my dear sisters and my dear brothers we can see two examples in the bible in the new testament a person one who is accepting the correction and what he sees end and also a person one is not ready to accept the corrections from the lord one when jesus was publicly corrected two of his disciples what was their response and reaction we see that god is giving corrections to peter we the the passage is very much familiar to every one of us 
when he was at the caesarea philippi god is, jesus is asking a question what do you say that the people what does people say that i am then they have given certain an- answers people say that you are the you are john the baptist you are one of the prophets you are elijah then jesus is asking that the people say whatever they want but what do you say who i am then they said say simon peter came forward and said god's revelation you are the son of god the messiah this was so happy he appreciated him and we see just after this appreciation jesus is foretelling his death his passion and death and resurrection the first foretelling of his death and resurrection and when jesus is foretelling then he is prophet foretelling about his passion death and resurrection what was the response of what was the reaction of peter peter came forward and said that it did never happen to you and you know what jesus called him publicly be in front of the disciples in front of the crowd he said he called him satan get behind me satan he did not call even the pharisees or scribes he called them like vipers but he never ever called them that you are satan it is only to the to peter my dear sisters and my dear brothers but we see that he was not offended by the corrections he was ready to accept the correction that passage we can see beautifully that how he loved jesus though he corrected him we see in gospel of saint john chapter 6 verse 66 to 68 where we see that that when jesus asking after the eucharistic teaching about the eucharist teaching then he is asking a question but because of this that is about the eucharist jesus said that this is my body you have to eat this is my blood you have to drink that is the context of this passage because of this many of his disciples turned back and no longer went about him and 67 the words this is raising a question so jesus asked the 12 do you also wish to go away and we see what was the response of the disciples simon peter answered him lord to whom can we go you have the words of eternal life though jesus corrected peter but peter was not offended by his correction he was ready to die with him again we see that jesus is saying that within 12 hours you will deny me but he was not offended by the corrections of jesus but my dear sisters and brothers we see an another person that is nothing but that is one of the disciples judas caria what was his reaction when god corrected him what was his reaction that we see in the gospel of saint matthew chapter 26 verses 14 onwards saint matthew chapter 26 verse 14 onwards where we see then one of the 12 who was called judas cariath that we can see that 29 sorry uh, nine verse nine onwards where verse nine 26 verse nine onwards for this one man could be could have been sold for a large sum and the money given to the poor the context we are familiar when a sinful woman came to jesus and is she is washing the feet of jesus with her tears and she is wiping out with her hair that we see here then there was ointment and this was perfume and he said that judas cario said like this for this ornament could have been sold for a large sum and the money given to the poor and verse 10 we read verse 10 but jesus aware of this said to them that means judas cario is saying that we can see in gospel of john that person is judas cario then jesus is correcting them why do you trouble the woman she has performed a good service for me and we read verse 11 verse 11 12 13 for you always have the poor with you but you will not always have me verse 12 by pouring this ointment on my body she has prepared me for burial 
verse 13 truly i tell you whenever this good news is proclaimed in the whole world what she has done will be told in remembrance of her my dear sisters and my dear brothers that jesus is correcting judas christ he said why to waste this ornament this perfume it got to be given to the poor and to serve them but jesus corrected him public, publicly then what was the response of this judas that we see verse 14 verse 14 and this is verse 14 where we read then one of the 12 who was called judas cariath went to the chief priest to betray him to betray him when jesus corrected simon peter he was ready to accept the correction and said i am ready to die with you whom to whom shall we go but when he corrected judas cariath publicly my dear sisters and my dear brothers the response of him was he just went to the chief priest to betray him and we know what is his end and what is the end of peter simon peter he became the first pope and the end of judas cariath we know my dear sisters and my dear brothers the question before you are you ready to accept the correction from others whether it is public or private if we have a thirst to accept the correction and sometimes we may feel at the time of correcting it is a humiliation sometimes we have to understand certain correction even it is public it may be god allows certain correction even in public maybe i have seen some of the people they are go stop going to the church because priest said something publicly so i stop going to the church or because of this person said something so i stop going to the church or especially regarding the religious life many people say that some i have heard that because of that priest said like this so i stop going to the church some of the public correction that god allows god allows we can see a beautiful passage that is second samuel chapter 16 verses 5 onwards second samuel chapter 16 verse 5 onwards where we see david king david when king david came to bahurim a man of the family of the house of saul came out whose name was shimei son of gera he came out cursing that we see that he is cursing that he is cursing david and though he was saying all the bad word bad words against this uh, david king david what was the what was the response of this what was the response of david we read like this verse 8 verse 8 we read verse eight, he th- he threw the stones and everything but what was the response of this david the lord had avenged on all of you the blood of the house of saul in whose place you have reigned and the lord has forgiven the kingdom in has given the kingdom into the hands of your son absalom see disasters has overtaken you for you are a man of blood and the people those who are with david said let's kill him let's kill him why we need to listen to him that was the response of the people those who were with him but you know what was the response of david king david it is we read that verse 10 verse 10 we read if he is cursing because of the lord has said to him curse david who then shall say why have you done so this was the response of david when all others said then he was the king that he was shemi was cursing saying we can see all saying all kinds of bad words and even throwing the stones at david but what was his response his response but king said what have i do with you sons of shurai if he is cursing because of the lord has said to him curse david who then shall say why have you done so my dear sisters and my dear brothers the question before you today are you ready to accept the correction even in public by others we are humiliated we are hurt we are reacting 
and we see here in today's gospel that prophets came to the people of israel they were correcting them they were guiding them but they were not ready to accept the correction they killed him they killed them peter we see that though god corrected publicly he was not offended he said still i am ready to die with you still i am ready to follow you my dear sisters and my dear brothers let us examine ourselves when i am corrected by others maybe by the priest or religious leaders or by elders or my family members what is my response the corrections are to sanctify you to guide you to make you a person a good person to transform you let's pray for this grace 